Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and iOS 15 is finally here after months of being on beta stages. Now, of course, it offers a ton of new features and changes, even though a lot of people are disappointed with a lack of big new features on iOS 15, it still has a lot of new features, which most of them are actually very, very useful. And of course, there are a lot of hidden features as well that probably most users won't even know that they exist on iOS. 15. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 30 of those hidden features that you will be able to find on your iPhone running on iOS 15. Now, before we get into the video, just want to ask you guys to make sure to smash the like button of this video. That helps out a lot. Of course, we'll help this video and this channel do much, much better. We're starting off with the iMessage app. So whenever you get a voice message on your iMessage app, of course you tap on it and you can listen to that message. But on iOS 14, you will have to listen to the message like this. You can play and pause, but you cannot scrub around on the message. With iOS 15, you can just drag like this and move around on the message and of course just place right there the cursor anywhere you want and play it from there. If you want to listen something again, you just can go back like this. You don't have to restart the message from the beginning. With an iOS 14 device, whenever you want to edit one of your alarms, what you had to do is tap the edit button right there and tap here to go to the edit page. Now this has been made much easier on iOS 15. All you have to do is just tap on any of your alarms and it will go straight to the edit page and of course edit your alarm from here. A lot of new features have been added to PDFs on the files app as well. So here I have a PDF file. If I open it, you can see what I can do here. Just tap right there. I can tap on the numbers and go to the pages right here and move through the pages. What I can do here is tap on the three dots right there of, on any of the pages and I can rotate these pages. I can go ahead and also insert another page, a blank page right here. Or what I can do is basically go ahead and insert another page, maybe from another PDF file. Simply by tapping right here, insert from file. You can also scan the pages for text with a new live text feature. And of course you can delete any of the pages on the PDF simply by tapping the delete button right there. But what's even cooler about this basically update on the PDF files on the files app is that now you can actually lock any of the PDF files. All you have to do is just open the PDF file and make sure you tap right here on the share button. Once you have done that, you will get here a button to lock that PDF. All you have to do is just go ahead, enter the password right here and make sure you confirm the passcode lower here and tap the dump button and now you're good to go. That PDF, as you can see, has been locked and now you will have to actually enter the passcode of that PDF in order to open it. As you probably know, with iOS 15, Apple has really improved the translation feature. You can simply select any text on iOS and of course, translate it from the pop-up or right there. But you can do that straight from the camera as well. So here's a picture that I just took from my computer right there. So once you point your camera with the camera app, the default camera app of your iPhone, of course, once you point it to a text, it will show this symbol right here. Tap on it, and it will take a picture of that text. Now, what you can do here is, of course, go ahead and just select any of that text, or you can completely translate this page, or just select any part that you want and tap on translate right there. It will show you the translate pop-up. You choose the language to which you want to translate, and you can go ahead and translate directly from the camera of your iPhone, as you can see right here. The camera app on iOS 15 has another great new feature that you cannot see, you cannot enable or disable, but it will work in the background automatically. It will actually remove lens flares from your pictures. You know, at nighttime or maybe when it's really sunny outside, you will get those flares on your pictures. Well, with iOS 15, your camera will automatically remove those from your pictures. You probably know about the drag and drop feature of iOS 15. You can drag like files, maybe pictures, but you can also do that with text. So right here on the iMessage app, I can 3D touch here and drag that text. I can go to another message and maybe just place that right there and send it to someone else, or I can maybe save this into a note. Just drag and drop 
any text from anywhere. Now, the great thing is that you can also drag and drop like multiple things. Right here, I can go ahead and drag this picture, but I can also select something else, maybe some text here or this voice message, and I can go ahead and drag these anywhere I want, maybe like a note or an email or something like that. Just drag, select anything you want and drag and drop them anywhere you want on iOS. One of my favorite features that Apple has added to iOS 15 is the new contacts widget, which actually allows you to have access to any of your contacts directly from the home screen. But it doesn't just let you call or FaceTime or message them. If you tap on it, you will see another bunch of things here and you can see like shortcuts, you can see files, you can see like photos that you have sent or received from that person. You will see here messages, shared links, and notifications, basically notes, you will see your music here, anything that has to do with that contact will be displayed here. So what you can do is of course from here, just maybe like tab there, it takes you to the message that that person has sent you. So it doesn't work just for calling or FaceTiming or messaging someone, you can do a lot of things with this widget. One feature that I really love that Apple has added to iOS 15 is the ability to quickly turn on or off auto brightness now it used to be right here under display and brightness but with ios 14 or maybe 13 i'm not pretty sure apple has moved that option under accessibility then display and text size right there and then here have auto brightness but with ios 15 you can do that using siri all you have to do is just use siri turn on auto brightness and just like that, you will have auto brightness turned on or off simply by using Siri. A great new feature that Apple has added to iOS 15 is the ability to change text size based on apps, not system wide. So right here, if I open, let's say the nose app, here we have some text and something like that. I can just invoke right here, the control center while being on the notes app and 3D touch right here on the letters. So right here, we'll have the choice. You can do that for all apps or notes only. And here's where I can change the text and this will be applied to the notes only. So you can see the text has changed. And of course it has been applied only to notes. If you want to do that for all the apps or maybe for your home screen, you just go ahead and do that from here. So if you want to do that for your home screen, you can go ahead and do it from the home screen right here, 3D touch. And you can see here we have home screen only, and we can go ahead and change the text for home screen only right here. And you can see it has been already applied to the home screen. You can now also edit home pages. Now on iOS 14, you could go here and you could enable or disable any of the pages, but you cannot rearrange them or remove them. With iOS 15, you can see here we have three pages. If I disable this, then I can go ahead and completely remove this page from the home screen. Now the page is removed and the apps will automatically go to the app library. Of course, they won't be deleted from the device. But what you can also do is actually rearrange the pages on your home screen. So you rearrange the pages there. And of course, it applies on the home screen. Another great new feature that has been added to iOS 15. Now, this was on iOS before, but it had been removed on iOS 14 is the ability to move through the pages simply by tapping right here, just above the dock of your device, tap left or right to move between the pages on the home screen. And the feature we all love has been brought back to iOS 15. The magnifier when you're trying to select text or just move the cursor on the text. So basically you will get the magnifier right here. You can see how cool that looks. It looks even better in my opinion than the older one that had been removed by Apple. I know a lot of people have been mad about Apple removing that, but it's now back and it's actually very, very useful. And of course, now we go to one of the most talked about features of iOS 15, and that's the new Safari look. Now, Apple has made basically a move back and it allows you to go back to the old style Safari. But when you do that, actually there are a lot of features that are missing from the other view. Now you can change the view of Safari from the new one to the older one or vice versa from the settings of Safari, but you can actually do that simply by tapping the letters right there and tap on show button bar or do the same and tap show address show address bar at the top and that will of course go to the old view but if you're on the new view you will have some more features right here like the ability to swipe right here to go 
through the tabs or when you're at the last tab that you have opened what you can do is just swipe like this and you can see you can quickly create a new tab for your device which is really really cool now when you're on a page like this on a web page all you have to do is just swipe down and you can go ahead and refresh that basically that page and another thing you can do when typing right here some like maybe an, an address or something, you can go ahead and just tap right there and it shows you this button that says scan text. Now, what you can do here and what you can use it for, maybe there's a link somewhere typed anywhere, maybe like a business card or something like that. You can just tap scan text and it will show you the camera right here. You can go ahead and use the camera to insert any link you want to open on Safari. When in Safari, you can also 3D touch on the address bar right there and you will have here some options. You can copy or do a voice search directly from here. Now, another cool thing is that now you can rearrange all of your tabs simply by going to the tab view right here, you can move around. And of course, you can go ahead and 3D touch on one of them if you wanna close all the other tabs. And of course, rearrange your tabs from there. So just go ahead and tap right here Let's just do that again so tab arrange tabs and you can do that simply by using any like thing that you want like maybe title or arrange tabs by website name and all that which is really cool now safari also has now a new like landscape mode on ios 15 which actually is quite cool so if you go to safari on the landscape mode you will see now the tabs are right there now what you can do from here is of course go ahead and rearrange the tabs or close all the other ones or you can even move the tabs around like rearrange them manually like this which is actually very very useful so whenever you use safari on the landscape mode now you will have that feature with ios 15 and the drag and drop feature of iOS 15 also works on Safari. So let's say you have a link maybe on another app or in Safari and you wanna open, let's say I wanna open Apple right here on Chrome. Well, all I have to do is just drag this like this and go ahead and just place that on the Chrome app and it will open that link on the Chrome right there. Really cool and of course, very, very easy to do. Now, going back to Safari, you can now, of course, also customize Safari with iOS 15. So if I tap on edit right here, I can add any of these wallpapers as the background and of course, add even any of my pictures. But what we're talking about here, all, all the start like things that you see on the start page on Safari, you can actually rearrange these and choose whichever one you wanna see at the top or enable and disable any of these from being displayed on the home screen here on Safari. Spotlight search on iOS 15 also got some great new features and there are some hidden ones, of course. Like right here without even trying to search anything on the Spotlight search, I have some suggestions from Siri. Let's say I see there an app that I wanna actually delete from my device. I don't have to go to the home screen looking for that app. All I have to do is just 3D touch on it and now I can actually go ahead and delete that app from my device from here. The great thing is that even if you search for an app on the Spotlight search on iOS 15, you can still delete it from the result right here. Or if you want to add it to your home screen, you can actually just drag that app and go to the home screen of your device. And from here, you will be able to just place it on the home screen without having to go to app library and then place it from there on your home screen. There are some new features with the notifications as well. So if you go to notifications, you will see right here notifications, you can swipe on them. And if you tap on options, you will have here some new features. Let me just unlock my device here. So if you go to options, you will have the option to go ahead and view the settings of this app. Do it from here or turn off the notifications from that app from here as well. Or what you can do is directly from there, just send the notifications to summary. Memories on iOS 15 also have some great new hidden features. So when playing a memory, what you can do here is go ahead and switch, of course, between all the pictures that are on that memory. But what you can do is also go ahead here and go to the grid view. And from here, you can actually remove any of these pictures from that memory. Of course, maybe there's a picture that you don't like because all this is done automatically. And what you can do here is hide from memory or make it a key photo if there's a photo that you really like and you wanna put it 
at basically as a key photo for that memory or you can even delete it from the library right here now what else you can do here with the memories of course you can share them right here you can save them as a video that's really really cool and very useful as well and you can see right here you can edit the title and all that so that's basically it for this video guys these are more than 30 new hidden features that you will be able to find on your ios 15 device hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys on the next one